Cocoon here. Big healing. Big healing. Oh! That's how that goes. Incap? No, I don't have incap. Feared? Nice, nice trinket. I like the Hodge. Nice job. Leg sweep. Woo, baby! That's what you love to see. He ain't coming back. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today I'm bringing you a pretty cool video where I play a game versus every rogue spec and kind of show you how I go about winning and how what, pretty much what our strategy is to beat each team. Versus sub rogues, I would recommend playing the Cephus Legendary. This is what makes your stuns and any CC on you is reduced by 10%. And if you orc, it means your stuns on you are reduced by like 26% or something like that. Something crazy, which is amazing. So play Cephus versus sub rogues. Grab a weapon you want to use when you see Shadow Blades. And as far as cooldowns go, you really just want to be on the lookout for trinketing the trinket is the most important thing versus sub rogues hands down as a mistweaver just make sure you either have trinket or port available that way they can't kill you in sh shadowy duel and smoke bomb if they're killing your teammate just again make sure they don't trinket anything useless look out for shadow blades and shadow dance but most important thing is don't waste your trinket or overlap trinkets versus sub rogues I've never really had a problem versus outlaw rogues. They just live and go into dampening. Um, Adrenaline rush is their main offensive cooldown, so disarm it when you can. Your trinket doesn't mean that much in this matchup because they do run the blinding powder, which reduces the cooldown of blind. So, you know, just don't, again, similar to sub rogues, don't waste your trinket. Don't, very important, do not overlap trinkets or cool, uh, defensive cooldowns. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to be without a trinket and they're going to have a full blind. So make sure when you see blind coming off cooldown, you kind of keep your teammate at full health, essentially, and hopefully they have a cooldown to trade it. But yeah, uh, as far as you disarm the adrenaline rush and play Cloud of Focus as well. Play Cloud of Focus is really good legendary. Finally, Assassination it is very difficult to deal with. I think it's the most difficult one to queue into as far as even in twos and threes. So what you're looking for, there's I think there's two different builds of Assassination Rogue. The first one is if they're Night Fade, they have Sepsis. It has a poison and it's magnified by their two and four set bonus. So what they're going to try to do is CC you, stun your teammate, and then use Sepsis and absolutely just chunk down your teammate and it does chunk it does chunk so what you want to do is you want to try to dispel that as fast as you can and yeah use a grapple weapon when you see vendetta that's the primary cooldown that you're looking for you could also instead of chrysalis you could play peace weaver because there is a little bit more magic damage from assassination rogue so that's fine too um i think chrysalis might be better though i also play cloud of focus versus this i think cloud of focus is really really uh good uh if you want to see more videos like this please let me know just give me a spec i'm sure i have gameplay against that spec so please i'm more than happy and yeah hopefully this is helpful for anyone any questions let me know and that's it for me hope everyone's a fantastic rest of your day hope we do the video i'll see you later and nameplate cooldowns shows the cooldowns. Holy Ward is on the priest. It feels a little bit wasteful. Uh, gonna get the rogue out here. 100%. Give me combat. Kevin, please give me combat. Fuck. Uh, this is bad. Okay, Boone. Oh, wow. Okay, they're going. They're going kind of hard here. Revival that fear. And sepsis. Stepsis. Trinket from the priest. Full blind on me. No saps off this, though. I'm pretty sure. This is DR. Yeah, I don't know. We're... <laughs> yep, that's that's where we are. Stun this! Incap? Song here? Disarm Rogue? Okay. Oh, they're... They're a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be scared too if I was coming to Miss Weaver Rep Pally. So. Cocoon here? Big healing. Big healing. Oh! That's how that goes. Stun this so we can't peel. All right, we got Trinket there. All right. Hey, I'll take Trinket. Spell this. Fleshcraft here. I'm trying to get this full Fleshcraft here. Would be kind of nice. Big healing here. I think he's trying to fear. I'm trying to get away from this. I want to get away from stacking on my port because you don't want to stack on your port ever. Evasion again? Yeah, I don't want to stack first this. If he's going for a mind games, DFA, a port. Big healing here. Hot here. Feared full. Incap this. Song here. Trying to get both. Nice Hodge. 
I'm out of there, bro. I'm out of there. I'm not even sticking around for this, man. Stun this. Kill, 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 kill. All right, all right. They're fretting a little bit. They're fretting a little bit. Disarm Rogue. Get away from me. In cap. Spin Crane Kick. Was, yo, spinning crane kick just got buffed. You know what I mean? That's why I'm trying to... Pro I don't stack. Don't stack. Don't stack ever. Song of Chi-Gi from downtown. Rogue runs into it. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Oh, dispel. Nice sank. So good. So good. I can heal on the, on the move here because I have a proc. Healing elixir. Still moving. See, I didn't cast a single thing. I'm going to cocoon here. I actually juked him. I shouldn't have cocooned there. In cap. Dispel. I have my trinket back and I have a... Uh, I think he's going to try to try to kick me from stealth. No? Okay. Maybe they go ret now. Nope. Okay. Stun on me. I need to not pour because the priest is trying to drink. In cap. No, I don't have in cap. Feared. Nice. Nice trinket. I like the Hodge. Nice job. Big healing. Big damage. Rop this. He, LOS was healer. Nice. We got Vanish there. Hell yeah. That's really good. He might open with like a kick on me. Yep. Always be careful with the rogues. Whenever they get a resell, they try to open with a kick on you. Don't fall for it ever. Don't fall for it. Port the mind games. What? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Spelling. Like, just don't fall for it. It's it's not worth it. Cocoon, I guess. Big healing here. Juke the rogue as well. In cap. I just gotta stay in combat, I think. Might get feared off this. Nice Hodge. LOS the healer. I would like to not get sapped, so that's good. Stunned here. on this yeah bro boy you think i'm triggering that get out of here get out of here buddy they wanted my trinket really bad there he doesn't have step to kick me um yeah you, you don't you really need to be greedy versus sub rogues especially in twos because like they're just really annoying and they have a bunch of stuns so do your best i'm gonna flesh craft this fear potentially nope kicks i'm gonna disarm rogue here Nice Hodge. I'm liking it. Uh, that's a trinket there from the priest. I'm just going to in-cap it. Nice Sank. I'm a port before he fears. Big healing. It was after the stun as well. So I have a short cooldown on it. I get kicked. Bonus for us. I think he still has mind games. I got to line this. I think I have to line the, uh, the priest a little bit more than the rogue. I have port in five seconds, so... Okay. I might die here. Nice. You'd love to see that bop. Doing damage here. In cap. Leg sweep. Woo! Baby! That's what you love to see. He ain't coming back. 